Welcome to a Fallout 76 episode. I'm here to show you the quickest way to get the plan or recipe for cutting fluid. Most of us missed this plan because when we did this quest, we were after the radicals face masks. Now, just go into the wayward. There's a little bit of a gunfight. You talk to Duchess here and she will give you a plan for the crane treasure hunting sign. When that's all complete, Wayward Souls has completed and a new quest called Hunter for Hire will appear. So what you need to do is make sure that quest is active. Then you're going to head outside and you're going to place down your camp and set up the crane treasure hunting sign. So there's Hunter for Hire. Stop the attacks on the Wayward for good. This is all way before you have to go do the whole treasure hunting thing at the Golly Mine. So I just quickly headed outside. I'm going to drop my camp. Now you're going to drop the crane treasure hunting sign after you learn the plan. Okay, so learn the plan, drop the sign. You do not need power. I have a friend spotting for me, so the next stop will be go to one of the relay towers nearby. There we go. Load the broadcast tape into a radio tower. So I've headed to this radio tower. X, load holotape, the broadcast tape. Now go ahead and press activate the transmitter. And now what you have to do is return to your camp. After a couple seconds, this fellow will show up. All you have to do is tell him you are not Crane and that you saw Crane at the wayward and he goes on his merry way. And let's wait for that prompt. As you're waiting for the other two guys to show up. Okay, so he's on his way over to the wayward. So about a minute or so after that, two of the free radicals show up. You do not have to engage them, just go ahead and kill them. Doesn't matter what you say, they still turn on you. So go ahead and kill them. And you're looking for a note on one of the bodies, it's usually this first guy that comes out. It'll be Crane's Orders. <laughs> now nah, I'd rather wear your scalp as a hat. Okay, let's take care of this guy first. And I just had my friend, she made me just a little spiked baseball bat so I could get through this whole thing without any problems. That and a couple of beers. So make sure you have some kind of a weapon and a few beers. Okay, the note was bring me Crane. Okay, as soon as you pick up that note, bring me crane it's going to ask you to go back into the wayward so we're going to go back into the wayward and talk to duchess again and you notice that there was a map update i have my friends spotting me at all the locations so you go back and talk to duchess tell her what you found out and then mort is going to come into the conversation they're still trying to find out where they're hiding so it sounds like they're headquartered at the west virginia lumber company and it should pan over to Mort. And he says something about West Virginia Lumber Company. That's not right. You misheard them for sure. And uh, and wonders why it's, it's the place is overrun with super mutants. But it's not actually the free radicals are there. So you have to talk to Mort until he says there's a couple places to check out. First one, tell me about this family. Now you have to do that one. And that upgrades your map to Anchor Farm. That's the one you need, but you have to finish with the second one. Talk to the Scrapper. Sorry, tell me about this Scrapper. Upgrades Tyler County Fairgrounds. And that finishes all the dialogue with Mort and Duchess. Now the first place you have to go to is Anchor Farm. So there in the upper right you saw completed. Talk to Mort. Now this is where you get the prompts. You want to kill the gang leader, but first you have to go to the family at Anchor Farms. So we want to go there next. This is how you get the cutting fluid plan, or at least a chance to get it. Apparently it's only a 20% drop. So from the wayward, head up to the family at Anchor Farm. Now, like I said, you have to have a charisma of three to get the proper dialogue prompts. So I had my friend make me a set of shielded casual. See, my charisma's up to four. So you can either take a couple of beers or have a friend make a shielded casual, and that'll get my uh, charisma up to three. So I probably did that and took a beer. 
So head on up to the second floor. You're looking for a named NPC called Daniel. Okay, there he is. He's usually up in this corner. Let's chat with Daniel for a moment. He tells you to kind of basically move along and you prompt him with, I heard you've had some dealings with the West Virginia Lumber Company. He stutters and says, I don't know what you're talking about. I'd like you to leave. Now this is where your charisma, we're all friends here. Just tell me what you know and I'll get you protection. And he says, okay, fine. We worked out a deal. I give them supplies for protection. Now what do you need to know to leave? And he says, tell me about this deal, which was once a month he gave them food, ammo, scrap, and the password called Blue Danube. So once you have that, you're good to go. And you can leave. Oh, wait, wait. He says, I'm going to kill these guys for you. And he says, if you do that, maybe I can give you a little something set aside one time though that's when you get when you return that's when you get the cutting fluid plan forgot about that one sorry so anyways you're going to leave here and you're going to head over to the west virginia lumber company okay we're leaving and then we're going to head over to the west virginia lumber company yes we're on our way and like i said have a friend spot you there i know the doors open it's usually closed we've been running this quite quite a lot Go on to the intercom, says you want to talk to their boss. And okay, what's the password? Password is Blue Danube, and you can go in without any hassles. Don't bother killing anybody here. You don't need to have all that aggravation. Just head inside the main lumber building off to the left. Just go up this ramp, past the sawmill blades and everything. And head inside. It's a separate instance. Okay, there's the office. Work your way down to the sub-levels, and there's Roper. You don't need to talk to him. Just introduce him to the spiky bits on your bat. After two or three hits, he's down. He doesn't have anything you need. You've completed Kill the Gang Leader. Now, there's uh, one fellow down here, Jackie, and a few other people upstairs. So you have to kill all of them before you can finish leave the gang a message and that's in the upper right corner so once you kill everybody head back upstairs like i said there's a couple more people on the upper floors once that's all completed then you're looking for these paint cans and paint splatters scroll the message on the wall so go ahead and do that it'll just fade out come back up and you're leaving the gang a message leave the wayward alone now if you notice in the upper right corner it says talk to duchess you do not want to talk to duchess you want to go back to anchor farm and talk to daniel do not go and see duchess so head back upstairs and talk to daniel and tell him that you killed the boss actually killed the bastard huh here's a deal's a deal now unless you've got something urgent now just wait on the left side he'll start to give you those supplies he talked about and the last one will be a plan now i got everything from you know sweet rolls um everything so one out of five you're going to have a chance i ran this about five times and then i finally got the plan and there it is the recipe for cutting fluid which is basically oil so there you go a quick and easy way i know it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to run it from beginning to end so good luck thanks so very much for watching and i'll see you out in the wasteland